Alrighty, so the news is here, of course, and uh, I'm a little bit late. I had some stuff to do today, so I was out and about. But uh, it is sort of an in-between week, so it's nothing super crazy. No new banners or anything like that. We should actually get information on what the next banner is over the next couple of days, whenever the JP patch notes come out, so I'm sure I'll cover that whenever that drops. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> new bundles. They are refreshing the purchase limit on being able to buy the discount bundles one and two, which are, I guess, I guess they're good value, kinda, sorta, I don't know, these are really expensive bundles, one's like $40, one's like $80, I don't, I don't know, I don't like spending that much on most bundles, so, uh, I don't know, it's not even gonna get you like a full, I could see spending that for like a, a rotation on something, but it's a little pricey, but it's a gotcha game, so what do you expect, but, um, they are doing the next boss for the boss sort of parade rotation thing, Sorry, dog's messing around. Uh, but yeah, we're getting Kamara, which is the big yellow, people call it Pikachu, which is pretty fitting, honestly. Uh, the actual clear rewards are the same, so you don't really have to worry about that at all. You're basically just going to be doing it as much as you want, so that way you get the event exchange shop rewards. Which, this time around, we have Deanne's... Power Ranger outfit, which is fine, I guess. You get another uh, card pack for the New Year's card set if you haven't already, you know, made that whole thing, uh, which is fine. Five crystals for the uh, card wish event. I can't remember. Artifact card wish event, I think, is what it's called. We do get a lucky bag ticket, which is kind of nice. Two SSR pendants, which is a weird number. Ten hammers, which is actually kind of nice, and a couple of other random sort of rewards there. I'm assuming next week we'll get Barugia as well. So there will probably be another exchange shop added on after, uh, which I guess if you really wanted to, like once you got done with these, you could probably continue to do them and then just exchange or like have these materials ready to exchange for the next one whenever it drops. But I, I don't know if you want to be prepared, I guess you could do that. Um, we are getting the New Year Goal Achievement Event Missions event. So with this one, you basically get a couple of different challenges that you can do each day and, uh, You'll just get random rewards, or like, I say random, but you get rewards for that, respectively. So, uh, you can see you get a couple of gems here and there, which is really nice. A couple of other nice, like, you know, in, uh, like, a gear equipment enhancing and stuff. So, that's also kind of good, you know, just regular sort of missions that aren't super crazy. But, uh, yeah, nothing super <laughs> intense, I guess. We do get a village donation event, and then one more uh, battle event for the week, of course. So, if you need a couple of pendants or whatever, you can donate some gold if you've got any left over. But, obviously, with uh, with the costume bundle, or costume sale going on, and, like, new banner and everything, I'm assuming you probably spent a lot of, uh, a lot of gold, like, powering things up, powering up costumes and everything. So, uh, I would understand if you maybe don't want to waste your gold, but who knows, maybe you're sitting on a ton of it. So, either way, that's pretty much the whole patch note. They fixed the bug but uh yeah we will obviously get a little bit more info and a better patch next week and we'll see who the mid festival sort of banner unit ends up being so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe if you haven't already see you in the next one